Hey everyone, Eric here. I haven't made a video in a while, so I thought I would share with you guys one of uh, my favorite things to eat during this prep, um, especially for you guys looking for volume and low carbs. This is a godsend. Um, just discovered this, this prep, to be honest with you. Spaghetti squash here, guys. And uh, this is some extra lean ground beef. Also just having some coffee with a little bit of almond grease, uh, chocolate unsweetened, um, great in coffee. Anyways guys, let me just uh, start prepping this and uh, be right there. It right. is to cut the spaghetti squash in half lengthwise. Um, so you gotta be really careful. I got a pretty big knife here, the uh, Wustoff. Um, I'm just gonna get a slice going here in the middle. All right, so once you kind of break the skin because it's pretty thick, you want to just run your knife in this way. Just push down and do the same for the other side, guys. So just run it in and push it down. Busts open and it's very, uh, very similar to a pumpkin on the inside with the way the seeds are placed. So what you want to do next, just grab a spoon, guys. Um, and you just want to scoop out the seeds here. Hope you can see this well. And you just want to scoop all the seeds out. And uh, you don't want this in your spaghetti squash when you're cooking it. All right, so let me just put the video on pause for a second and show you guys the finished product. So once you finished uh, scooping all the seeds out, this is what kind of what it'll look like. You'll just have the spaghetti squash um, shelled out, no seeds or anything, all the seeds are in the outside, kind of like a pumpkin like I mentioned. All right, next, so you want to take your, uh, I've had my pan heating here. Um, and you want to take your ground beef. I use the extra lean just because I'm in prep here. And uh, just get that going in the pan. Just get this all in for you guys. Right, and I add a bit of salt and pepper for a little bit of taste, guys. There you go. Alrighty. Just leave that cook. It'll probably take about 10 minutes or so. Alright, so the way I cook my spaghetti squash, um, some people put it in the oven. I prefer to just put mine in the microwave, it's a lot easier and it's a lot faster. So I just put this in the microwave uncovered. For, um, oh, I might want to take a sticker off here. All right, should check the rest. All right, so put this in the microwave um, for approximately, uh, I usually start at about 10 minutes for both sides, and uh, it'll probably take another two minutes after that. So, about 12 minutes total. All right, we're midway through cooking the ground beef. Actually, the ground beef is almost done. Um, the uh, spaghetti squash is uh, been there for about five minutes now. So um, about five minutes left and then another two minutes after that should be good. I've chopped some vegetables that I'm going to be putting in with, uh, with my spaghetti squash and my ground beef. I also add salsa and a, uh, about uh, three, um, what is this, three tablespoons of uh, low sodium, slow sugar ketchup, kind of uh, acts as a tomato sauce. Um, so for one tablespoon is uh, one gram of carb, um, five calories, so it's not bad. I'll use three tablespoons of that. I'll use um, a quarter cup of salsa, and there's a half cup of onions, red onions here, and a quarter cup of celery. So all that with, um, I usually use uh, 300 grams of um, the spaghetti squash, which comes out to 20 grams of carbs. So that with my ground beef, uh, very low carb meal, uh, great, 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 great volume, guys. A little bit of fiber as well in the spaghetti squash, and um, honestly, it uh, it tastes like pasta. I'm telling you right now, it's not uh, doesn't have the exact same consistency, but it's very, very close. So um, I'm gonna keep cooking here, guys. It smells awesome in here. Boom. Got these roasting, celery and onion. It's almost done. I have uh, 200 grams of uh, ground beef here, um, weighted cooked today, um, 
are actually made up for the difference. Uh, so it's about 150 grams cooked here. Um, spaghetti squash is almost done. One more minute, and I will show you guys how to um, how to scrape it out so it looks like pasta. All right, so this side is cooked. The other side actually is still in. Let me put this down in a minute. So you got to be really careful. It is very hot, but basically you just want to take a fork and just start forking it. Um, let's see if you guys can see it from here. It's really hot. Jesus. All right. Holy shit. This actually burning the hell out of my hand. All right. So you just fork it up, and it kind of just comes off, guys, just like uh, spaghetti noodles. So you can see that. And you just want to weigh it in. I got my scale here ready. So you want 300 grams. You know what? Some of this is actually not ready yet. I'm going to have to throw this back in the microwave. So if it's too hard, um, and you can't exactly fork all the it should come apart really easily. And I'm hitting some tough patches here in the middle, and it's not coming off. So that's just telling me that it needs a bit, uh, bit longer to cook. So I'll just take some of the this, this surface stuff off here that's ready. Uh, I got about 100 grams now. So I'll put this back in, and uh, let's cook this for a little longer. Maybe another two minutes. All right, so I got 300 grams of uh, spaghetti squash here mixed in with uh, celery, onions, 200 grams of extra lean ground beef. All right, so I'm gonna put it in a bowl here. Uh, what is this? So it's an anchor bowl, it's one liter. And uh, I don't even know if this is all fit in there. 20 grams of carbs um, from the spaghetti squash plus the onions and the uh, Three tablespoons of ketchup, so that's about 23, plus the onions, it's probably about out. So this whole meal is approximately 30 grams of carbs. This is my pre-workout meal today. Um, it's approximately 20 grams of fat, and about 40 grams of uh, protein. All right, so let's see. I don't know if this all fits, seriously. Shit. Uh, it's getting really close, guys, but I think it might just all fit in this bowl. All right. Boom. Yes. So as you can see, it's quite a bit for uh, the macros given. Uh, I'm not going to forget Texas Pete, one of the best. Texas Pete and Sriracha. We'll just freely add a shitload of Texas Pete. All right, that's it. So give it a try, guys, if you got some low carbs. This is the rest. There's still quite a bit left. Uh, pretty much all of the half left. So I got enough for tomorrow again. All right. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think.